Ladies and gentlemen, before announcing the winner, uh, I'd like once again to uh, thank the three finalists and indeed to thank all of the applicant cities. The competition for this prize has been very tough. It was very difficult to make a choice from so many inspiring examples of innovation and practice. I'm glad that I didn't have the duty or the job of selecting the winner. But there can only be one winner. I'd like to pay tribute, however, to all the other participants who demonstrated many excellent approaches to innovation in their cities. The applications, as I said, were of very high quality and you take your place among those who are driving innovation in Europe. Just a couple of weeks ago, we had the Oscars and it is customary during the uh, announcement of the Oscar winners that we get, the presenter gets an envelope. In this case, my Director General will present a rather handsome envelope that the Directorate General have paid a substantial money for, amount of money for. And in that envelope, there will be, hopefully, the name of the city that has won. So, Robert Yan, can I ask all three mayors to stand in the centre here, please? So I'm wondering if it's going to be American Hustle or Philomena or maybe even Gravity after what we've heard in the last two days. The winner, the European City of the European Capital of Innovation Award this year goes to Barcelona. Well, let me also from my side uh, congratulate uh, the winning cities because, let's be clear, these are first-class cities of innovation, but there can only be one winner.